up, it's Jess. So today I'm going to be making a What's in My Kids Christmas stocking video. No, I'm not showing you all nine because that would be kind of ridiculous. We have 10 kids we had to shop for this Christmas and I went overboard on every single one. Every single thing I had to purchase, I just went crazy with. I'm gonna start with Rikers. Now Riker and Skylar get the same things like all the time because they're near the same age and it just keeps from fighting and makes my life easier because there's less headache if they have the same exact thing. So just imagine seeing this twice. <laughs> the first thing we got him was these three pack little truck things. I don't know anything about boys and like cars or anything but these looked fun. <laughs> I did notice, like, comparing the older kids' stuff to the toddler's stuff, we like the older kids more, apparently. Or it's just easier because they don't choke as much. Then the next thing we got were these two little minifigures. So he's getting Chase and Zuma, maybe? The orange guy from Paw Patrol. That's, that's his official name now. Then I know Skylar is getting Sky and Everest. And then you'll notice a theme. It's very Paw Patrol themed in this house. Then I got him this little bath squirter of rubble and Skylar is getting Sky. And then we got two little stuffed animals. So first one is Rocky from Paw Patrol. He has Chase and Rubble already so we figured he needs Rocky. And then I call him my chunky monkey, so I had to get him this little monkey from Five Below. She was so cute. He always steals Brooks, Beanie Boos, so I figured it was time for him to have his own. And then when I was growing up, I always seemed to get a toothbrush and toothpaste in my stocking, so I figured keep that tradition going with my kids. He's getting the Chase toothbrush. I don't actually know if he's old enough for an electric toothbrush, but... If the sound scares him, as I'm imagining it will, we'll just not use the electric part of it. And then, Cars Toothpaste, which is really weird because I could have sworn I picked up Paw, yeah, Paw Patrol, but whatever, it will do. And it's all going in this plain little stocking. Yeah, our stockings are really boring. They don't even have our kids' names on them. We're that lame. And then, on to... The old kids, which again, stockings are like all the same. I just threw that into my trash can. Whoops. I should have been more prepared. Had to take all this junk out. Come on. I really don't know how I fit that all in there. Again, just a plain little red stocking. So the girls are getting pins. The boys probably would not like these pins. If we can find like Pokemon pins, maybe we'll give them those. They're just little kitty ones. And I don't know where Jason's mom found these. They're just little, not princesses, Barbie Legos. Like I have never seen these in my life. They're pretty cool looking though. So I figured we'd throw them in the stockings. Then at Toys R Us, they had this huge bow thing for like a dollar or something ridiculous like that. So it has My Little Pony on it. Don't know who this is, but the girls love My Little Pony. So we split those up. They're each getting a princess doll. And then the boys are getting like action figures. Because our boys do not like princesses in the slightest. These things, okay, so I watched this YouTuber, Haley and Family, and her daughter always has these, and they just look so fun. They're like prehistoric seashell excavation, don't know how to say that, kids. And on the back, those are the things that could be in it. It just looked like a fun little thing to do at 5 in the morning when they wake me up because they're excited. And those are at Target from the dollar section. Then each of the girls is getting a little Barbie. I took her out of the packaging so she would fit properly. Just a little Christmas Barbie. 
And then there's this little Barbie coloring purse. I saw this in the toy section at Target. There's like a little $5 and under section in the Barbie section. I figured we'd buy this for them. They can have some fun with it. And for Brooke, I thought like her little diabetes stuff could go in it, which was exciting. Then each of the girls is getting this little, what are you called? A little keychain lip balm thing. This one is a gingerbread man and it actually smells like it. Then we have a snowman and a Christmas tree or something. The older girls are getting those. Savannah is not old enough for it yet. I don't know what we'll put in instead of that. And the boys are just getting regular chapstick because I don't think they'd like that. Then they're getting toothbrushes. This is Brooke's toothbrush. It's My Little Pony. I don't know why my girls are suddenly obsessed with My Little Pony. It's a very odd thing to be obsessed with suddenly. Oops, that was not what I wanted. And Dory toothpaste. Yeah, I'm not very good with the whole matching thing as you can see. <laughs> but Dory's fun, so that is what's going in their stockings. I know it's pretty lame, but we have 10 kids we're shopping for, so it was kind of hard to, like, find things that were affordable, but not, like, junky, and just, yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment down below of what you put in stockings or what you got in stockings as a kid. I know Jason's family always put an orange like at the bottom of the stocking to like weigh it down a little bit, make the kid more excited. But I'm allergic to oranges, so I'm not going to be helping Santa put oranges in my kid's stocking because that's just weird. And I remember just getting the toothpaste and toothbrush in my stocking. That's literally all I remember getting in my stocking as a kid. I had a depressing childhood apparently. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas and I will see you next week.